the above two businesses after working with some of the biggest brands during her corporate career anita is also a polyglot who can speak all major indian languages and gaining proficiency in two foreign languages when anita is not busy spreading the world about becoming a porima through her training and coaching interventions she can be found reading cooking or traveling anita advocates the philosophy of being a generalist over a specialist has a stronger building block for success she describes the trajectory of her life has a series of happy accidents we welcome you anita ma'am over to you thank you so much vridhi and uh, uh, thank you very much to the entire team of mentor mitra and to each one of you who is watching this right now and for those of you who will watch it at a later date uh, let me tell you a secret first today if you and i are talking to each other let me tell you it's also because of goal setting because i had set a goal that i want to be working more and more i want to be engaging more and more with young adults because after all investing in tomorrow is like investing in legacy investing in tomorrow is like investing in mankind in the future in 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 a better society in a better world so it's definitely thanks to goal setting that you and i are connected today because from the time i have written that a lot of things that i'm getting to do is related to young adults so guys goal setting definitely works on that note thank you so much for your time and patience when you're listening to me today uh some questions that i'm going to explore and like pooja said it's an ocean so i will touch upon them briefly and i'll suggest what could be a way you can increase your awareness about goal setting so the first thing is of course is goal setting important we'll explore that why should we really set goals how can we achieve them how can we go about setting goals in a manner that we achieve them totally um can something come in the way of goal setting well let's find out and what happens when we really achieve our goals guys that's also a possibility right because everything that riddhi read out in her introduction had been a goal to me sometime or other like like whether it's learning languages i have a goal i want to be speaking close to 20 languages by the time i am 50 with regards to work with regards to personal hobbies for everything i have a goal so uh, let's hope you carry back something uh, when when i'm talking about all these things however moving on if i were to start the topic with is goal setting really important i would rather flip the coin which means i will say no it's not important i mean after all nobody is probably standing with a gun at the back of your head saying no you have to set goals right but then think about this recollect this check this out google it do whatever you want but anybody worth their salt if you find out how they are wherever they are you will see each and every one of them without an exception saying that they always had it as a goal or they always had it as a dream they always had it as a vision because vision or dream is nothing but the expanded goal like pooja was rightly mentioning so is goal setting important is kind of like i don't even know whether it's an it's an appropriate discussion point because goal setting is what makes our journey of life not be a rudderless ship okay because the most adventurous of us even people who feel like we are going to go back backpacking or take a sabbatical or or just figure out as things go along we still have a goal sometimes we know it sometimes we explicitly state it sometimes we just have it at the back of our mind but the goal is always there can we go to the next slide because what i'm going to talk about here is some good news let goal setting not be some new topic for you let it not be something that you're introduced to at this point of time because guess what goal setting is something we are used to from our childhood literally you know that that uh, probably you should walk or talk by the age of x months to which age do you need to get into your early education to what should be the elective in your later years to what graduation will you pursue what undergrad what grad what work in the work appraisals by the by what time will i get married have children how much money will i make at some conscious or unconscious level goal setting is something that is always a part of our life so what's the discussion about today so today is about maybe digging it a little deeper and getting some new perspectives about goal setting can you go to the next slide with me so we are habituated to goals but then 
I'm going to talk about two, three important models where the first one Pooja has spoken about in length because it is arguably one of the most powerful models on goal setting. The more specific I am, the more I know I'm able to measure it, the more I can achieve it, the more I make it relevant or realistic and the more time bound I make it, I can achieve a goal. Having said that, why is this such a powerful model? Well, think about this. Uh, or rather, not think about this, uh, kindly uh, believe me when I say this, just the way we don't like confusion in our life, just the way we love clarity in our life, the universe also likes clarity. And that's why this model of goal setting seems to work wonders for many people out there. Because I want to be rich is very different than I want to be earning $150,000 in a year. I want to have a big car is very different than I want to have an Audi Q4 or I would love to be a great sports person vis-a-vis -vis, I want to take the Olympics gold. You know, you, you, you look at any rich, any successful, any established industrial sports person, they will always talk about something related to goal setting. Talking about stories and Pooja has given some interesting ones. Like if you remember, uh, you know, what Djokovic told in when he won the US Open last month, he said that when he was a child, he used to make the Wimbledon Cup, the US Open Cup with, with you know, um, just scrap material that was available in and around. Whether you, you take PV Sindhu, you, you take anybody, you know, I can, I don't even want to take names here because uh, you have enough examples where every person who makes it has some time thought of it as a goal. You will never find a gold medalist actually telling that, oh, I got up and it just happened. In fact, you know what? They literally say that I imagined this moment. I don't know for how long. I imagined wearing that medal. I imagined holding that trophy. I imagined my country's national anthem being played. I imagined my coach having that look of pride. I imagined my family really, really being happy with my progress. That's where something like a smart goal um, becomes like a very popular model in goal setting. So when you actually set goals, you might want to remember that these are some great principles to follow. Any model of goal setting for that matter actually follows this in some manner or the other, which is where the another model, which is called the EACT model, where it says that you should be explicit when you're talking about a goal, you should make it exciting because obviously we all run towards something that is a good thing, right? So make it exciting, make it accessible. How will you know you have got there, right? Imagine if your exams did not have grades, if the sporting events did not have a scorecard, would things be that exciting? So the measurable part of any goal setting is super important. So does your goal include that? Not just that, make it challenging. We all know our worth. I mean, even the most lazy of us, we probably will know on a given day that we could do better and we will do better. We can do better if we are determined about it. So always have goals which are slightly challenging in nature. And last but not the least, again, the time frame. You don't want to drift through life, right? You do want to be very clear that this is by when you want to achieve a goal. If I have to share a personal example, one of my proudest moments and even my father's proudest moments was, was when I achieved my goal of buying my own place uh, before I was 30. And it only happened because it was a goal. It was a time-bound goal. I was raised in a city called Calcutta, which is known as a city of joy and it's in the eastern part of India. And, and I was raised there for a very long time. So I was very clear that although right now I stay in a different city, I wanted to buy my own place in Calcutta. And indeed, I also wanted to buy before the age of 30 because I didn't want to be like, like my mom, who's like a simple homemaker. And I wanted to have my own place and make her proud. Lo behold, because it was specific or explicit, because it was time bound, because it was accessible, because it was exciting. It was also challenging because I was not making that much money, guys, those days. But the feeling that you achieve when you set a goal using these parameters and you hit them is super great. However, I'll actually give you a different perspective to goal. Uh, Briti, if you can click once more the headings of the, uh, no, if you can go back. Okay, I don't know why that uh, the labels are not coming, but the first one is smart. The other one, there is a modern name. And the third one, it's through an applied psychology concept called NLP, 
and it is referred to as well formed out council okay now what's interesting about this what's interesting about this is a powerful way to set goals is that you state it in the positive which means you don't say i don't want to die poor or i don't want to be poor or i don't want to look fat rather you always say what you want i want to earn money i want to buy a big car i want to marry a certain kind of person so always state whatever it is in the positive also state something that that you know is is in your control now when you say in your control it has to feel true to you you, you get what i mean because every 5 year old um gets enamored by a fancy uniform and could feel that i, I want to be in the armed forces or i I'm, i'm definitely going to be a pilot now we all know that 5 year old goals are very different from when you are aware about goal setting and then you set a goal so the goal that you set has to align with you it is something that you really really should be able to believe and like like i know today if i were to set a goal saying um i want a ferrari i know it's not going to happen because in my heart of hearts i know that probably that's not a car that i want and by the way nothing against ferrari or it could be any model but i know that if i say okay i want an suv which is probably a jeep or a thar i know that i have put some thought and i believe that i can make it happen so it has to be something which is in control and it has to be in context which means let us say i want to make money through a certain intervention i want to make x amount of money in a certain job then it has to be in context otherwise you are again going to confuse the universe because uh, what do i play super lotto well that's not something all of us can do right so make sure that your goals are stated in the positive they are in control they are in context and they use all the senses pooja was also mentioning this imagine yourself in that situation so if you are looking at whatever is your goal for tomorrow imagine that you are you have already achieved it imagine how would it be when you have already got it like like you know to share something really personal i always knew that i'm going to be a public speaker right and i always used to imagine how am i going to dress how am i going to talk how am i going to introduce myself when where is going to be um, you know a personal story so it's like i made that picture very very real for me so the more real you make your goal picture for yourself the more you make it a vision and and in fact you know what if you're not able to see the vision probably there's a bit of a work that you need to do internally because always goals come true when they happen two times once it is in the mind and once in reality so because if your mind if your heart can picture it you know you will get it it's just a matter of time it has to be congruent like i told you for example if i'm somebody who who just wants to uh, not be visible at all and then if i were to say okay i want to become a world class role model it wouldn't be a congruent goal so always when you write goals imagine if they are congruent with you and then of course you should be able to state it with evidence which means you should know how when is it happening for example when will i feel that i have worked with young adults when let us say every month i have coaching uh, you know uh, clients of let us say three young adults three new young adults then i know that i'm i'm achieving my goal not only that also when you write goals try and see what is the highest objective that you have for example if you say i want to lose 5 kilos in the next 3 months great that that's a good example of a smart goal however why are you doing it i'm sure you're doing it because you want to lead a healthy lifestyle right so always when you write goals see whatever is the highest objective through that goal so for example if you want to be rich why do you want to be rich i'm sure either it is to lead a good life or to provide for family and near and dear ones or maybe for philanthropy i don't know but i'm sure you have your reasons so make sure that you state it with the highest objective in fact let me show you this uh, book um it says top secret in fact my husband keeps wondering what's in it but this is a book in which i write my goals every single day and in fact you know like me and and when i say every single day i mean like puja was talking about pictures i don't think you're able to see this but i actually write like for example i have written x amount in dollars and i have said that that's what i want to make in a year because i want to be able to work with people across the world 
and 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 i write every single day like like i've literally written um you know i want this many clients i want this kind i want to travel this many countries before i die so the more i write the goal and when you keep writing it and you keep keeping it visible is higher are the chances that you will actually go ahead and um achieve the goal so make sure you write in the positive in context make it specific make it measurable make it time bound and and you'll see if you're writing it as if you've already achieved it like you know these days i don't write by saying um you know i want to lead a happy life i actually write i am leading a happy life i am leading a disciplined life i am walking daily to um, develop a fit uh, body so yes please make sure that you write your goals and you write it using the parameters that have been discussed in the sheet like the senses part making it real coloring it stick the picture of the car that you want to buy stick the picture of the mansion that you want to buy stick the picture of the person you want to marry stick the picture of the company's name that you want to join but the more you make it visible and real for you the more it's going to turn a reality moving on if i go to the next slide and i'll see that is goals always easy to achieve may not be after all what's the fun what's the fun if if life is not without its share of challenges right so yes sometimes there could be barriers to our goals um all the time um it could be internal barriers it could be external barriers now what would be an example of an external barrier well something like a pandemic is a classic example of an external barrier or something which is happening outside of your control could be an external barrier working with someone who's probably not yet realizing your value a tough boss um a slightly tough environment at workplace or something that's outside of your control could be an external barrier but you know what i wouldn't worry so much about it what i would be worried about are the internal barriers because internal barriers are those idle chatter in our head which actually kill the enthusiasm like i know till i knew better um for the longest time if i were to write a goal immediately that voice would go ting and then it would say do you think it's possible will you really be able to do that will you be able to afford that ah can you make that happen so you know our beliefs our values our self doubts anything from inside our self talk what am i saying myself imagine if let us say my goal is to give you a great presentation and if my internal chatter was oh my god i hope i don't forget whatever i want to say uh, oh oh my god i don't know what will they think of me I, was i impressive enough imagine the um, uh, outcome if one were to operate with that kind of an internal situation whereas let's say i want to give you a great presentation and i look at it as wow yet another chance to reach out to young people and share my thoughts yet another chance to listen to some wonderful stories from my uh, colleague pooja she never has a dearth of them it's okay even if something misses it's perfectly fine because a caterpillar has to be no more for a butterfly to happen so work on those internal beliefs or self limiting beliefs because those are your real villains which can stand in the way of the uh, goals external beyond a point you can change and you can do something about it so i wouldn't worry too much about it now sometimes when you let us say get the goal what would you do can you take me to the next slide ruby sometimes it can happen that you will get the goal here's my one line recommendation please say kudos and get another goal because that's what makes life so exciting now what are some great ways to achieve the goal in addition to what pooja already mentioned and every word is worth its weight in gold please remember one thing it's not about the goal you know successful people do very boring things successful people do remarkably tiny consistent things every single day rather than do a boom thing one suddenly one sudden day which is why i got to request you to remember that rome was not built in a day it was built every day something about discipline how getting up early leading a physically fit life leading a mentally aware life so yes what are the tiny steps what are the small things that i am doing at crazy consistency which are towards my goal that's what that's the first way you can very easily go go ahead and achieve your goal the next thing would be uh, remember no can you go back to the previous slide ruby 
remember why you're doing this okay so whenever there is let us say an iota of self doubt that creeps in or the villain inside you resurfaces just go back to why why did you do it again if you really um, like you know olympics is going on um, there's this lady called anna um, who has won the gold for her cycling and she's actually a scientist can you can you beat that what what human versatility we are talking about do you think something like that would be possible if she were not to have a, 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 a great goal and her purpose was to ensure that she sends out the message that anything is possible one of the countries which won the world cup um, only once in their lifetime won won it simply because the captain wanted to use the prize money to build a cancer hospital because his mom passed away due to cancer so our purpose can be a very strong driver for us so on a bad day make sure you tap back into that purpose the third thing would be to enlist all the support needed absolutely your friends your family your mentors your uh, you know uh, some coach that you probably work with it could be anybody but support definitely definitely will take you far remember to be crystal clear trust me guys i mean the if, if you were to forget everything about this presentation but remember one thing it would be this the more clear you are the more clarity the universe has that you can go ahead and make this happen and i know i'm going on talking about universe etc so in case you're wondering what is this mumbo jumbo i'll just talk about this in the next slide but right now trust me when i say the more clear you are the more are the chances that you'll hit the goal so which car which mansion in which neighborhood how much money to the last dollar like you know i i have written an amount and i have written it very clearly and i write the same amount every single day like last month i wrote i want to be working with five people between the age of 25 and 35 and and i promise you guys it is freaky i actually went ahead and did that i worked with five people i got one consulting project where those five people were between the age of 25 to 35 i didn't say this to show off but rather i i'm saying this to like kind of increase your belief that when you're clear about what you want you really will go ahead and get it amen to that and last but not the least track and monitor calibrate recalibrate sometimes there will be a lot of things like life happens in between so yes take a pause where required recalibrate ask yourself is this taking me towards where i want to go or is this taking me away from it remember the most successful people have not got there by listening to what everybody around them is saying rather they have followed their own goal book and they have ensured that they have worked towards that with a single minded division okay vision uh, take me to the next slide ruby so um come to the last bit of it uh, i have one simple request okay i i really wanted to Uh, speak less but speak with slight clarity i hope we've been able to achieve that but but if you something that has changed my life um i thought i'll share that and i'll request you to go through and see what it does for you i'll really be happy if you can circle back and tell mentor mentor mitra or you know dm me as to how has this played out because this this book that you see this is this i, I have like many books like this you know since the time i have started writing goals but the very first video all nighting the stranger secret in the world please please watch it because it's one of the most most powerful most beautiful videos on goal setting also do this create your goal board like literally go berserk and a digital variant or a physical variant it doesn't matter how it is but whatever it is that you want like freak out like you know my goal thing has about 10 15 pointers when i do when i write my goals and and i i'm glad i remember this don't worry about the how your job is not really to worry about the how your job is first to ask because ask and you will receive ask and ask with utmost clarity and with the highest of intention so please do do your goal board now last but not the least there is this thing called well formed outcomes uh, personally i'm a fan of this in terms of a goal writing construct because like i told you well formed outcomes is 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 um, how you get to write goals as if you are already doing it and it's goal setting in in my humble opinion at a very different level so you might want to try that and i'll be happy to answer any questions uh, whenever that need arises so please do this 
and uh, I have my goal book. Uh, it's not really a secret, but what's your goal? And I'll be happy if each one of you out there goes ahead and fulfills your goal. So good luck on that. And uh, thank you, Mentor Mitra, over to all of you. Thank you so much, Sunita, ma'am, for sharing us with valuable advice and insight with us on how can we achieve our goals and how can we overcome the obstacles to achieve our goals. Thank you so much, ma'am. Now, we would like to process to the question and answer session by our audience, but has, uh, we have a uh, very limited time, so we won't be able to take all the questions. Uh, ma'am, Pooja, ma'am, the first question is for you. Can the goals be unrealistic and unimaginable? If not, how can we set realistic goals than unrealistic one? Oh, that's an interesting question. So unrealistic goals and uh, our goals can be, uh, sorry, the question is, can goals be realistic but unimaginable? Can goals be un unrealistic and unimaginable? All right. Okay. It is said that what a human mind can perceive or human mind can achieve, right? So if you can imagine it, right? You can definitely, definitely achieve it. All you need to do is to just, you know, how do you eat a big elephant? You just break it down into small, small pieces, right? So that's the same, the same thing happens with your goal setting process as well. So like I said, if you can think about it, you can definitely achieve it. All you need to do is find a way to break it down into smaller, smaller goals, you know, work on them. Uh, there are some beautiful things that Anita has spoken about, you know, different uh, you know different tools that can be used and of course uh, you know whatever that you've learned today uh, with anticipating the roadblocks with anticipating what what needs to be done by writing down what needs to be done identifying and having absolute clarity if that's what you want to achieve definitely you can achieve it go right ahead and do it in fact uh, you know why not prove to the world that what was thought unimaginable but I, I could imagine it and I could achieve it. You know, we, we love such examples. The world loves, loves such examples. Yes, ma'am. Very rightly said, ma'am. Thank you so much. There's a question for you, Anita, ma'am. Why should we set goals every day? What is the most significant factor that help us and assess us to reach our goals? Okay, I'll answer the first part first. The power of writing your goals every single day or at least keeping it in front of you in a manner that it's visible is that it increases your intention with the universe that you're committed to it, that you're serious about it, you know. So uh, that's why it's very, very powerful to uh, do it every single day. Um, some days if you're not able to do the full goal writing, at least have like, a, like an abridged version of it. Um, for example, I write the and life when I'm not having enough time to write all my goals. Because to me, the and life means I want everything. Because if you if you notice, we all tend to think that I can either be rich or have a nice family life, or I can either do this or that. But no, you can do it all. You can have it all. So to me, it's it's the and life. One of my coach friends told me about it. The second part of the question, Riddhi, could you repeat that? What is the most significant factor that help us to evaluate and reach our goals. Purpose, the strength of your purpose. If the, if the purpose is, is weak, think about the simple example. You could be a very late riser, but let's say you have an early morning flight. Do you ever miss the flight? No, because you have a very strong reason, which is to catch that flight. You don't want to lose the money. You have a destination to get to for some work or some other activity. So always the strength of the purpose is what drives us um, further. So I would say that's the most significant accessible parameter. Thank you so much, ma'am, for your valuable inputs. Now it's a common question to both of you. While setting our goal, considering passion industry is the right thing. Sorry, I couldn't get your question. Can you repeat it? Sure, ma'am. While setting our goals, is considering passion industry is the right thing? Should the goals be based on passion? Is when if our goals are based on passion, is it the right thing? Pooja, you want to go first? I would say absolutely. You know, one does.
can you hear me is there uh, some yeah we missed problem i think some yeah. network issues that i'm having yeah yeah so uh, yeah uh, okay so uh, am i audible now yes you are all right okay great all right so i just want to say yes passion is something which is very very important if you are passionate about something then obviously it's a good goal it's the right goal it is something uh, i would say uh, of course there are different 